Hey, what's going on? It's your girl Claire. So I'm here. I just bought a new wig. Um, and I'm here just to talk about it a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to put it on or not, but um, this is the Freetress Equal in the style Hania. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on this wig. Um, I've seen so many YouTube um, um, videos on this, and I was looking for something that's like short and something easy just to pop on and go, like an everyday type thing. Um, and this is what I finally got. It just took forever for me to actually purchase this. It was between this or a coup or a dream. And I just went with Hania. So, yeah. Now, this unit that I have on my head, if I tell you what this is and y'all start reviewing it, I mean, if y'all start, like, searching for it, looking at other reviews, you'll be like, that is not the same wig. This is the Friday Night Hair GLS 64. Now, if you look at other videos, you'll be like, nah, that is not the same hair. It is. I actually, I've had this one for quite some time since like april march april around that time and it was nice it was nice but because it's synthetic after a while down here it got so mangled and tangled and matted i just one day just got frustrated and just cut up off all the the mangled pieces tangled pieces or whatever and then it just sat there i haven't worn it in forever so the other day i was like I'm trying to do something to protect my hair, like a protected style, and I would look, I grabbed another wig, and I'm like, no, this is too short, and this is like, not full, so I grabbed it, and I'm like, hmm, I know with some synthetic hairs, you can flat iron it up to a certain degree, so what I did was, I, I don't know where the card is or anything, I just took my flat iron, put the degrees, it was like 350, 250 or something like that, and I took one piece, and I flat ironed it, and I'm like, ooh, it really got straight. So I went on and I flat ironed the whole thing and this is what I came up with. So, yep. But there's a whole nother wig. It's GLS 64. Hey. It's completely different. Like, y'all gonna be like, that is not the same wig that this girl had on her hair. It is. I just flat ironed it. But anyway, let's get back to this. Side track. Ooh. So. Okay. It is soft. It is very soft. Alright. And I got this in a number one. I got this from Sam Sam's Beauty. And they didn't have any more one B's. There's, there's a lot of colors that they didn't have. Um, any more of. So I just settled for the number one. Whatever. Um, all this stuff out, and this is her. Now, everybody else that had it on, it looks so pretty on them, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I need to try it myself. Well, I have this little swoopy whoop here, okay, and this is the parting space, okay. Hey. Now, the parting space from what I've seen with other people. I guess they fixed it or something because some some people's wigs when they showed it it looked so much like more <laughs> like but I feel like they this is nice this is really nice and it's hard lace so this looks really nice okay I think I'm going to really like this and I'm going to take some pictures this weekend with my boyfriend and our two kids so I might be rocking this for this photo shoot, but let me go ahead and put this on for y'all and see what it looks like. Alright, so this is the unit just pretty much popped on my head. The lace, as you can see, is still on. Um, it's alright. Now when you see something on somebody, you're like, ooh, it looks real nice, and then you try it on and you're like, mm. I think this is one of those things where like, it will have to grow on me. Like this will definitely have to grow on me while I have to play with it a little bit. The hairline, this is the part that's bothering me a little bit. This is not, I don't think this is the kind that I can like pluck or tweeze. I might have to make it work somehow. 
Because it's like if the wind blows or something, then you just see like that. You know, I don't like that. But, um, <coughs> Kayla, be quiet. So, on this side too. So, I'm going to play with it. I might flat iron it a little bit just to see like what it's going to give me. I mean, it's, it's alright. I mean, I feel like it makes me look a lot older because I have a round face. It makes me look even more older. I'm only 30. I feel like it makes me look like I'm older than 30. Yo! Stop! <coughs> so, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and play around with it and I'll come back. And it's shedding a little bit. It's not shedding a lot, but it is shedding a little bit. And I didn't even cut the lace yet, so, yeah. So, I'm going to play with it and I'm going to come back and see what I can come with. <laughs> Alright, so this is the final look. What I did was I just flat ironed it. Um, cause to me, I don't, I didn't like the poof, the, the poofiness of it. So I just flat ironed it just to, just to flatten it out a little bit. It did take away the texture, but it don't matter to me. Like it doesn't matter. Um, and I didn't bump it. I just literally flat ironed it straight. So um, maybe later on, I'll probably go and. And bump it so that it can have that you know curve at the bottom instead of being just straight but overall it's okay i like it um like i said earlier i just wish the hairline wasn't just so like blunt i just wish it was a little bit more like faded in um but it is what it is you know um and as far as the part i don't have any um i do i actually do have concealer but the the stocking cap, the stocking cap that I have underneath is like a dark brown. So you can actually, well, I don't know, the lighting is kind of messed up, but you can actually see from here back. You can see it's a different color from here forward. So just putting some concealer on it, or probably having a black black stocking cap um, underneath, and then just take my concealer or powder and you know rub it against here then it'll be fine but actually the way that it is now minus the stocking cap it's it's fine for me you know so i don't know it looks art to me um this is big head friendly because my head don't have a big head and it's like kind of like lumpy so i have to like try to pull it down in the back so that it could be a little like smoother so if you have a big head this will fit you <laughs> this will be a good size for you it won't be too tight um, I, it does have the two combs up here. Does it have three combs? I forget. I forget. I know it has the combs right here. I'm not sure. I don't remember whether it had a comb here. I don't think it did. It has a comb in the back. I don't have any other combs in. And it's like, if it always big head friendly, it is snug. Like, it's, it's tight. So, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's it for this Hania. Where's the, um, the card? Okay, this is what I have. Clearly, it looks a lot different now. <laughs> but overall, I like it. So, yeah. So, I got mine from Sam Beauty. Everything in total was like $35 and some change. Um, the wig itself was $23.99 or $24. Shipping, I paid like $11 and some change. I ordered this Tuesday. and Tuesday night, actually. Um and it's friday it came friday today so not that bad at all at all so i'm satisfied so yep anywho <coughs> i'll leave the link to the hair down below and yeah all right talk to y'all guys later